Howdy folks, Spencer here, and today I want to talk about the latest batch of news, including some brand new news that has just been announced via Star Trek Day. Uh, there will be a spoiler in here, so I will have chapters listed down below, um, and I will let you know when that spoiler is for those of you that, that care about that. So first things first, the next season is called Ascension, and it comes out Tuesday, September 13th, so much sooner than I expected, and much sooner than most of us expected. Uh, so next Tuesday, the new lockbox is coming out, the new season with the new story mission, uh, the event to get that near Somerville should be starting then. You know, probably a couple other things that they haven't announced yet. I, the Elite Bridge Officer token, the fleet update should also be coming out on Tuesday. So lots of things happening on Tuesday and there might be more, but we don't have a ton of dev blogs out yet. Now, uh, this is the point where I give you the spoiler warning, and it, it is because they've also announced who the new Terran Emperor is. So if you want that to be a surprise, skip ahead to the next talking point where I talk about the Elite Bridge Officer tokens. Okay, there's your spoiler warning. Here we go. So in the trailer that they have put out today, which I'll have linked down below, they showed some Terran ships in front of V'ger. And... We get to see that the Emperor is, in fact, Will Wheaton. So they've got Will Wheaton in to do a bunch of voice acting, you know, of course, for the game. Um, you know, I imagine he's done voice acting for more than just these missions. For example, when they had Kate Mulgrew come in, they had her doing voice lines for even like the, the old Delta Quadrant content. So I imagine you're going to see Will Wheaton inserted into various story missions you know throughout the the game and some some of the older content so for those of you that had predicted will wheaton there you go you were right and that's the end of the spoiler now let's talk about the elite bridge officer training token so the elite bridge officer training token will allow you to upgrade your bridge officers to ultra rare grant them a wide variety of new perks including them having the ability to have their own ground trait and the cost has also been announced with this so let me talk about that first um you're going to be able to upgrade or get one token for 500 cent that's five dollars or you can buy a bundle with uh four of a minute for 1200 zen now there will be a 20 percent sale for the first week that this is out so from september 13th through the 19th there will be a 20 percent off sale that means the bundle of four of these is going to cost you 960 Zen. So even at 960 Zen for a four pack, I don't think it's going to be worth it for most people to be just, just be perfectly honest with you. This bridge officer training token is largely focused on boosting your bridge officers ground performance. There, there are some other benefits, but the, the majority of it here is you know, giving your bridge officer a kit frame, giving your bridge officer a ground trait, giving your bridge officer an extra device slot. It's, you know, keep in mind your bridge officers, the only places you can use them are story missions and a couple of the ground adventure zones or battle zones like uh, the Dyson battle zone, Nimbus, uh, Kabali. I think that's everything, right? So you don't really get to take your bridge officers into a ton of content outside of the story part of the game. Uh, you can't, for example, take your bridge officers into a TFO with you, which is really unfortunate. They'd be really good for that with this uh, with this uh, token here. But yeah, it's uh, it's a bit underwhelming so far when I say all that. Now I do want to go in game quick. Let me. Go show this. When you uh, get a ground trait, there's a new prompt that'll pop up. And basically, if you do want to per to to put a uh, ground trait on one of your bridge officers, you have to buy it a copy of the ground trait you're wanting to put on it. So like for Zatvash Venom, for example, when I click on that, I'll get a pop up asking who I want to put it on. I don't have any elite bridge officer to uh, elite bridge officers over here right now because it hasn't been released yet so i only see myself as the op as an option 
Um, but when this update goes live, any of your elite bridge officers would be on this list and they can have a single trade active at a time with this update. They also are getting a kit module or a kit frame slot. And I, what I'm curious about is how many kit modules they'll be able to run. You know, they don't really specify in the blog, but if you're able to, to run like some kit modules on them also alongside the kit frame, that could be a bit interesting. Now, the, the first thing here is, you know, the upgrading the bridge officer to ultra rare quality. And alongside that, when you upgrade to that ultra rare quality, it upgrades all of the traits the bridge officer has to the highest possible version of the trait that they have. Um, you know, so let's think about places where this can be useful. Let's say you have you're on a Romulan captain, a Romulan faction captain, and you have a bridge officer that has superior Romulan operative and subterfuge. You could use this token or use one of these tokens on this bridge officer and make the subterfuge a superior version and the physical strength. If that has a superior version, then you could also get a superior version of that. That's where this would be useful, but there's points where you would not want to use one of these tokens also. For example, if you're doing the, the infiltrator stacking to maximize your cloak ambush, Remember, for, for cloaking, for, to boost your cloak ambush, you need three different ranks of infiltrator. So if you want to fully boost it, you need a superior infiltrator, infiltrator, and basic infiltrator. Because the same ranks don't stack, but the different ranks do when it comes to cloak ambush. So if I use an elite bridge officer token on this infiltrator, or this bridge officer that has just infiltrator, it'd ruin it. And, you know, these are not cheap bridge officers. If I go and look on the exchange, Remen, Uncommon Quality, the ones that have Infiltrator, 240 million EC. So if I used an Elite Bridge Officer Training Token on this bridge officer, I would have wasted a quarter billion EC because that bridge officer would now be worthless for the build that I'm doing. So, you know, you definitely want to do your research you know, there's not a ton of cases like that, of course, but you want to make sure that the bridge officers that you're giving the token to have traits, you know, that you would want to boost up and make sure they don't have traits that you would never want to boost up. And, you know, there's going to be cases, too, where some bridge officers, there just is no superior version of the traits that they have. Um, examples of that would be like Weiyun or the Jemadar Vanguard bridge officers that have Engineered Soldier, or the Kentaris with Ferocity. As far as I'm aware, you know, those don't have superior versions, like Weiyun here. This is the only bridge officer in the game that has Authority of the Founders, and I'm pretty sure there's not a superior version of that. So, you know, there are going to be some traits that are, do not have a superior version, and you just, you know, need to do your research to see whether or not it's even worth you getting an upgrade to try and maximize those traits. And like I said, there's some cases where you would never want to do that. The last thing that this elite bridge officer token does is it will teach your bridge officer all of the standard abilities for its class. So if I use this on a science bridge officer, all of the science abilities that can be obtained through crafting or the bridge officer trainer would be trained to the bridge officer. They first tested this with a, the Weiyun buff that you got with the legendary Jemadar pack. So you see how he's got all of these basic science abilities trained. That's exactly what it would be like on your bridge officer when you use this token. Now, any abilities that come from the fleet, lockboxes, story missions, those you're still going to have to get like you normally would. You see that I don't have like subspace vortex here or very cold in space. I still have to get those like normal. Uh, but any of the normal science abilities that I can get from the vendor, well, they're already trained up, even the rank three versions. So, you know, I foresee that that could be useful for, for some people. You know, that's that is a bit of a quality of life improvement right there. 
um, have if I use this on an engineer bridge officer, then it's got every standard engineering ability trained up that you can get from a vendor. Same for attack. Like that is, you know, at first I was a bit hesitant about it, but the fact that at least with Wei Yun, that also included rank three, that does seem to be, you know, decent. Now, the this token may not work like the Wei Yun one did, you know, where Wei Yun came with rank three. This bridge officer token may not include the rank three abilities. We really don't know. And of course, the, the blog doesn't contain that type of information. Why would it? But that's probably the biggest part of this change to me is uh, just because that, that would be a bit of a quality of life improvement and make it a bit easier when working on different builds. Now, of course, you can always just go and spend some time at the the bridge officer vendor to buy those manuals yourself for the rank one and two versions. But the rank three, you would have to either craft or buy off the exchange, which can always get a bit costly. But if it does include rank three of the abilities, then that is really quite nice. Uh, but even just the rank one and two, I mean, that that's cool, but they are really cheap at the vendor. They're like, you see, 250 EC for the commons. 5,000 for the rares, like they're not that expensive at the vendor. So, I mean, that could be a quality of life improvement. You know, let me know what you think. Do you have a use case for the Elite Bridge Officer Training Token? Did I miss something with it? Uh, to me, it just looks like it's going to boost your Bridge Officer's performance on ground. And the fact that this doesn't have like a, a space trait slot is going to make people not want to use it. The fact that this basically does nothing for space means that it's probably not going to sell very well. I could be wrong. I really could be. But I, I feel like 500 Zen for a single one is too much, way too much. You know, you also have to factor in this update uh, is in introducing the Romulan SROs at the Fleet Embassy for science and engineers. You know, for 500 Zen, you could convert that to the lithium and uh, you get more than enough fleet credits into lithium to from that 500 Zen to, to go and to get an SRO bridge officer. So why would you go and upgrade something like a pirate, you know, with one of these tokens when you could just go out and buy, uh, use the Zen to buy an SRO from the embassy, you know? But the, so there's going to be cases where the, the value proposition for this just is not that great. Um, and I think for most people, you know, you do more than story content. I think for those of us that play the game a lot, story content is a very minor portion of the, the time that we spend in the game because, you know, most of it's spent doing things like TFOs, um, you know, patrols, things like that, where your bridge officers aren't relevant. So, you know, I wonder if this means that they're looking at maybe letting us use our bridge officers on ground TFOs. That would be really nice. But um, unless that happens, I just don't see the value for this elite bridge officer token. And I I'm not going to go out of my way to get one. I'll get them, you know, if they're really cheap on the exchange with EC, but there's no way I'm going to spend money on them. No way at all. But look, I've been talking for a while now. Um, you know, once again, thank you for the continued support. And tomorrow I'm going to be talking about the new lockbox ship, the courier pilot Raider. Um, I will say that it was really funny watching the trading channels reactions to that when they were doing the 10 forward stream. Uh, basically all of the people in there that opened lots of lockboxes were going on about how this, this really looks like a stupid idea for cryptic have, to have done for its own lockbox. And everyone pretty much agreed that they should have just done a Confederacy lockbox instead. But we'll see. You know, hopefully tomorrow the, the blog will be out that says what the, the new lockbox has in it. But if it's as good as the ship, it's going to be a very easy lockbox to pass. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.